now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. I hate to step on meteorologist Joe Winter's toes here with a look at the beyond the weather forecast for tonight, but the chance for the northern lights is one of the better ones we've seen. We've had a handful of opportunities over the past several months, and tonight looks pretty good, at least as of right now as we speak. Just past 630. It's not dark enough yet in eastern Iowa, but after the sun sets, especially as we get past like an hour past sunset, start to look to the northern sky from the horizon pretty much all the way up to directly overhead has the potential for seeing some of this. Get away from city lights. You don't want city lights around you because that can make it harder to see just in general, and you don't want them to your north either if you can avoid it because that can also take away from what you see. Give your time, give time for your eyes to adjust as well. Immediately you may start to see a little bit of some shimmering light, but you may not see any much color with your naked eye. And if you want to bring out some of those colors, try using a camera. Those uh, long exposures with a traditional camera or perhaps just your cell phone on night mode can really pull out some of those bright colors and uh, really make them pop. So over the next several hours, notice how we have good conditions to start off the evening. And as we go through the rest of the night, clouds will stay off to our north. And that's the good news. It's not till later tonight where a few of those clouds begin to encroach our northern zones, likely already having experienced at least some of those northern lights between then and now. Now our decor city cam shows a picture of those clear skies. Right now winds are light too. Temperatures around the upper 60s to as warm as the upper 70s still in 78 in Waterloo. Winds on the south currently about 5 to 10 miles per hour at most. Your first alert highlights nothing in terms of a major weather impact over the next 24 hours. Now it will be a bit breezier tomorrow, but not strong enough that we're highlighting it here in terms of it being particularly disruptive, but we will notice that increase compared to the fairly calm days we've had for the middle of the week. That southerly wind is what's going to help keep us warm tomorrow too. It's all ahead of a cold front in an area of low pressure, which is off in southern Canada. This front trailing behind it will be a pretty significant change as we look at over the next couple of days but it doesn't arrive until later. So your first alert forecast overnight involves temperatures in the upper 40s in some of those river valleys like Manchester and Maquoketa, and then Iowa City staying and hanging on to 54 degrees, 53 in Charles City. This is the warmest low of the week so far, and that will lead to the warmest day so far this week too. The pinpoint future cast otherwise shows those clear skies sticking with us. Southerly wind staying light overnight, but after we get past daybreak tomorrow, we'll notice it start to pick up. It will be a little bit breezy and we'll keep those partly cloudy skies with us too, but they will be at the mid and high levels like we've seen off to the northwest today. So we will still see a fair amount of sunshine coming through as well. Now, as this cold front moves through, winds will begin to shift. You may notice a little bit of a pickup in those during the evening hours, starting to bring in that cooler air. So if you're heading to those Friday night football games, be ready for that change. But it's the scattered cloud cover the last with us on Friday night into Saturday before we start to see even cooler air arrive later in the weekend. Now, your first alert forecast for tomorrow, 81 in Decorah where that front arrives first first, but to the south, 87 in Iowa City and Washington. That's more than 20 degrees above normal for this time of year. And when that front moves by, no precipitation expected. Now we do have some smoke in the upper atmosphere right now. That could uh, add a little extra milky appearance to the sky as we go over the next uh, few days as wildfires in the northwestern United States stick with us. But the bigger change will be the temperatures down into the 60s by the time we get towards Sunday for highs on a pretty blustery day. We're expecting northwest winds to be pretty strong there. And then early next week is when we reach our coldest late next week. Look ahead to that. Next Saturday is our next best chance of some rain or storms, but we got to wait at least a little while.